depth is one of the most commonly used design principles and adding depth can help take a 2D layout like a magazine page, a web page, an app layout and make it far more engaging by giving this impression that the object is three dimensional, that the layout is three dimensional. Given this idea that parts of the layout might be closer to the reader and other parts might be further away. Depth can be created in a variety of ways, such as adding drop shadows, layering graphics one on top of another, using gradient fills, or varying the scale of objects. The two examples given on the bottom of the screen, the one on the left lacks any real use of depth, whereas the one on the right makes effective use of depth. It does that by using a combination of the four things that are listed on the screen. The first, the drop shadow, has been applied to the two images of the guitars. That drop shadow allows the image to look as though it's floating above the main page, casting a shadow on the rest of the graphic. Lots of the elements on the page have been layered on top of one another. By layering them one above the other, it gives us the impression that the images and the items have been stacked and piled up to give this impression that parts of it are closer to the reader and again the other parts are further away. Using gradient fills, they've applied this to the flash bar at the top of the right layout. By applying that gradient fill, part of the bar appears closer to the reader and the other part further away. The last is probably the most effective and that's the varying scale of the objects. The two images of the guitars, whilst the same object, which we would know would be the same size in real life, have been placed at two different scales. The one larger to the fore of the page and the other smaller. This idea that perspective is in play, by giving this impression of perspective, the object at the front looks far closer and the object that is smaller appears to go into the distance and appears further away. Let's look at another example, this time taken from an SQA paper in 2016. The magazine layout is for Ray-Ban sunglasses and what it does is it makes really effective use of depth throughout the layout and it does that by using the four items that we described earlier on. The first, the drop shadow, has been applied to the yellow bar and to the sunglasses at the top of the page. Again, that drop shadow casts onto the page giving this impression that the object is at the front and it's casting the shadow down on the rest of the page, giving this sense of depth. The next is the use of layering, and that's done for all three images on the page. The first image is placed behind the FAB text, giving this impression that the word fab has been cut out and the model image has been placed behind it, making the model image appear further away and the rest of the page appear much closer. The same applies to the triangular images, with both images placed behind a triangular cutout, giving this sense that the page has been stacked one on top of the other. The last part is about the use of scale, and that's on both images within the triangles. The models appear at different scales. One at the bottom appears much closer, and that's because the image has been cropped a lot closer around the model's face, whereas the other model has been left further away by not cropping in as close, and it makes her appear as if she's further away. The combination of those three things makes a really effective use of depth in this layout.